the holiday season gave us is a new matrix movie it's a bit of a dud but they do have a cool little bot effect whenever someone gets taken over and becomes a bot or an enemy or or whatever in the movie they get the eyes get this cool uh, matrix codec effect so we're gonna actually break that down how to do it today or recreate it in davinci resolve if you enjoyed today's video remember to like and subscribe first things first you're going to download the link in the description down below you're going to get the matrix codex effect well it's fun i mean once you got that installed you're going to boot up your davinci resolve you got your clip that you want to use for the effect and you're going to have a fusion composition to the side you're going to go into fusion you're going to go to effects templates fusion and on the particles you're going to find the matrix effect this is pre-built into davinci resolve whether or not you have studio or the free version it might give you a merge node you don't need that so we're going to delete that and kick we're going to take it out kick to the side delete you're going to reconnect the matrix effect to the uh media out and we're going to make a few little changes you're going to double click on the uh the package or the group I'm gonna go in and make some adjustments. You're gonna go to the text. You're gonna double click it on the side. And it's gonna be open sans. So you're gonna go down and find the matrix codex effect or matrix codex font. And that's gonna give you the more of the look of from the actual movie. You're going to modifiers. It's gonna have it's got capital letters randomly scattered through there, which the codex, the code doesn't actually have. So you're gonna delete those. And then you're gonna go to the random effect or randomness. You put about 25 or 50 or however you want to put it and that's just going to give you a more of a random effect make sure you get different symbols and diff a different look more often than not now then you're going to get a background note it's probably going to attach itself to the text note you're going to detach it and place it on the end of the node tree within the group and if it's close up all black you're going to click on the merge node hit control t and it's going to swap it around because your yellow is your background and the green is the foreground. So when you are, when you first drop it, it drops it in the background. So you hit Control T to swap it around. Now using the merge node as a transform, you can stretch it out and make it smaller or bigger, however you want to do it. Don't really need to be too big though. So it's pretty much good where it's at. Then you're gonna hit Control Space and you're gonna get the glow node. Now these are not any perfect settings or anything. You just kind of adjust it to how you want. The matrix code does have a little bit of a glow effect to it. Just tweak the settings to your liking. Once you tweak the settings to your liking, you go back to the edit page and you're going to let it render out. Once it's completely rendered, you can play it back, you get your matrix codec. Now, from there, you're going to hit right click and go into render in place. Feel free to use the settings that I'm using here and give you a smooth playback also while maintaining your quality. You select your render folder and now you got a pre-render clip. You don't have to worry about it re-rendering every time you make any kind of movements or adjustments. Now, you're going to take the clip you want to use for the effect and you're going to uh, right click and turn it into a, a fusion clip. Within fusion, you're going to select your media one. You're going to hit control space. You're going to go get a tracker node. Now within the inspection tab, you're going to hit add to add a secondary tracker. So now you got tracker one, tracker two. You're going to take tracker one and place it over the eyes. Well, over your one of the eyes. You're going to bring this in a little bit. Your search box. Do the same for tracker two. Bring it in a little bit. We're gonna search box. Make sure you're in the first frame, we're gonna go over and hit track to end. Oh, right, well first you're gonna check. Uh, you can check either one of those, it's best match or every frame. I'm just gonna pick best match for this one. Then hit track to end. Once you're tracking complete, you should get this message on your screen. Hit click OK. And then you want to bring in your rendered uh, fusion clip. This should pop up as a media two on your node tree. And then you want to hit Control C on your tracker uh, tracker node, and then hit Control V to paste this uh, tracker. 
Now within the expansion tab, make sure you have the tracker selected. You can rename it if you want to. So just put tracker two here. And make sure it's on tracker two in the inspection tab and go back to tracker one. After you connect your media to your tracker, go into operations. You're gonna drop down to match move. At that point, you'll see your render take over the whole composition. You're gonna click on the media two and then click the polygon tool and gonna mass out the effect. You pull and stretch the node in order to actually bend the mask. And once it's done, you can go through and make your little tweaks and adjustments. You wanna hit, hit the soft edge, bump it up a little bit. So it's not so rough. Now you can see the matrix codex is in their eye. And you basically want to pre the process from node two. Go back and track it, go to operations, go to a match move, and you should get the code that coming up again. And make another mask. Now you can make the mask a lot better. I'm just kind of referring it for the tutorial once you hit the soft edge and that's your matrix codex like I said the movie was a bit of a dub but I did like the little effect and how slight spoilers how they can pretty much take over everyone and anyone within the matrix at any given time instead of the agents having to jump from person to person Make sure to check out the link in the description uh, for Motion VFX. They actually have an entire matrix packet, uh, well, preset that you can install into Venture Resolve 100% free. Pretty cool. I use it for the intro effect and the little text effects throughout the uh, throughout the video. They're real easy. Just drag and drop, change the text, and there you go. They got transitions and some more. So check the link in the description below. That's been the video. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the new year. Most yeah, most likely this will be my last video for this year, and I got more fusion base videos coming so subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time flesh and ain't discreet about it extra extra read about it say you want to be for body we gon' come and see about it flesh and ain't discreet about it